Thanks for tuning in to Trash Panda Garage. We've been working on a lot of little fabrication projects lately. One of those projects is trying to figure out how to mount some quick release awning brackets to our up top overland uh, bed rack, specifically the extruded aluminum crossbars. Now how I decided to do this is to replace the plastic end caps on the crossbars with some thicker aluminum that I could drill and tap into. Now this is two by two inch 10 series extrusion. So if you look at the end of it, you're gonna see four uh, channels uh, or round holes essentially that you can drill and tap into. These holes are exactly one inch apart on the two by two extrusion. So I'm gonna drill and tap all four of these holes to mount my new aluminum end plates. In order to do that, I need a two by two piece of aluminum with four perfectly placed quarter inch holes. Now I could just go buy some uh, two inch aluminum flat bar, cut off a two inch square piece, and then attempt to drill those four holes accurately on my drill press. But there's a better way. I should say right off the bat that I have no affiliation with SendCutSend.com. They're just the first website I found that had some pre-designed patterns that would actually work for this application. And it's a pretty user-friendly website, actually. Within their pre-designed templates or part patterns, I found a square with four mounting holes. And because of the adjustability built within their web software, uh, you can easily adjust the size and position of the holes as well as the diameter uh, of the square plate that you need. So I programmed in a two by two inch, half inch thick piece of aluminum with quarter inch holes drilled exactly one inch apart on all four corners. Uh, this is going to be laser cut with precision that's going to be hard for me to match uh, by hand on my drill press. Uh, and as you can see here, they have a lot of different options as far as material. It doesn't have to be metal. Uh, they also have options for anodizing, powder coating, having uh, holes tapped to whatever size you need. Uh, you can program in bends. As you design your parts and add them to the cart, you can see off to the right what your total is. Uh, shipping is free as long as you hit the $27 or $29 uh, minimum. I don't remember exactly what it is. It took me no time at all to design a few brackets I thought I would need for this project using their easy to use and adjustable parts templates. And about a week later, I had a package on my doorstep with my freshly cut parts and a few extra goodies thrown in. I would add that in addition to these parts being very precise, it saved me a trip to the store to buy the raw aluminum. Of course, the time it would take me to try and cut and drill these to size. Now, admittedly, I still have to countersink some of these holes and I'll need to have these powder coated when I'm done. Um, my parts didn't meet their minimum size requirements to enable these features to be add-ons uh, within the checkout process. Regardless, it still saves me a ton of time. So if I didn't say this already, you can also upload your own CAD software files and get an instant quote for the price of the part that you've built out, which is pretty cool. This discovery has also sent me down a new rabbit hole. I've just downloaded QCAD, a free 2D CAD software, which I hope to use here in the near future to design and submit my own custom parts. I'm going to need quite a few of them for our Nissan Frontier build out. So in summary, I think this is a pretty cool service that SendCutSend.com offers. A lot of us have a need for small custom parts, but we just don't have the expensive equipment to make them. The CNC machines and the laser cutters and all that stuff. But now uh, that doesn't have to be a barrier. You can design your own parts and have them shipped to your door in a week. That's it for today. As always, thanks for watching Trash Panda Garage. And until the next time, get out there, build something.